what God has really gifted you to do and what he has blessed you to do and all that you have accomplished. I mean, you, you're not one that really need to come on TBN to, to just kind of get your thing off the ground because everywhere you go, there are packed out auditoriums, oversold things. People have to wait to the next night. And there are always thousands of people still wanting you to stay another week. No night is a half night. Every night is a packed yeah. out house everywhere you go. But what I want to bring to somebody that's watching tonight who's going through a transition during this Christmas season, this has not always been like this for you. No, not at all. I want you to talk about the times when people don't believe looking at you now um, with what God has prospered you with and how he's blessed you yeah. that you were once a homeless man yeah, yeah why don't you tell us about that I, I you know I there's something to be said about following God when when I was doing um in my first show was I know I've been changing I know God gave me this word so I moved from Atla uh, New Orleans to Atlanta moved in to this uh, little apartment and, and saved some money and rented a theater mm -hmm. and I thought I would see 1200 people coming to see the show it ended up being 30 people who came so I had wow. the rent money and everything and the car payments everything tied up into that but what happened was God wow L listen listen Wait, you had 30 people to come listen. to something that you expected 1200 so I, then you went in a hole completely in a hole couldn't pay the rent couldn't pay the car payments, couldn't pay anything and 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 when you follow God and God leads you into something. It, it, it was the strangest thing because I couldn't understand what was happening at the time. I, I, would, I would do the play, nobody would show up. I'd go get another job and st start all over again, and I, I would do the play again. And I would go to my boss and I'd say, you know, I need this time off. It's like, no, we can't give you any time off to go do a play. Wow. So either you work or you leave the job. And God said, I, would, I remember going back to my desk. Y'all got to excuse me because I've been... Yeah. I've been from radio shows to Oprah and I ain't been able to tell it like I feel it down in my tell soul. That's, so that's that's what yeah, I want to that's yeah, what I want to tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I I, I I went back to my desk and I sat there for a minute and I think, now God, I know you told me to do this, so you provide, make the way. I'm gonna walk out of here. I got up, went out, went did the show, same thing happened. Hurricane came through, three hundred people in the audience, couldn't pay the cast, everybody's angry, they're upset. And I go to God and I say, God, what is going on? Couldn't hear anything from him. He would not say one word to me. Wow. This happened over and over and over again, uh, up until nineteen ninety eight. By then I had had it. I told God, I said, I'm not doing it no more. I'm not gonna do another play. You 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 bring me out there and then you don't say a word to me. So uh, mm. the House of Blues, the House of Blues in Atlanta asked me to do a play. I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it. But then a few friends called and said, no, you should do it. So I go over and I do it. And they had de this church, they had put folk art all over this church. They had turned it into the House of Blues. Mm -hmm. I said, I'm not performing in here. So I left, came back the next day, everything was gone. Wow. Yeah, yeah. This is this is this is part of the miracle. I didn't know it at the time. I'm still murmuring and complaining. D I did the show. Um, well, let me back up for just a minute. We were in rehearsals for the show. The heat went out in the building. It was a cold night in Atlanta, like tonight. Yeah. And we uh, we sat we sat there. We were rehearsing, and I didn't know what was going on. I didn't know if anybody was buying any tickets. I didn't know any any of that. And I sat in the dressing room the night of the show, and I said, God, you know what? I've had enough. This, I was 28 at the time, and I said, I, I can't go on living like this. You, I know you told me to do this. I know you keep bringing me out here, but I don't hear from you. Mm. When I get in these situations, when I can't pay the rent, when I can't pay the bills, when I got friends and family, I'm calling them for $20, $30 so that I can eat. When I'm dependent on the kindness of strangers to buy cookies for me to eat. Wow. That, that's, 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 that's when you know. But, but I knew God was telling, when God is telling you mm. something, and you know it in your spirit. Yes. It doesn't matter what mama says, what daddy says, what anybody, you walk into what God is telling yeah. you. So what I did was I said, okay, I'm not doing it no more, God. And I heard a still small voice say to me, I am God. I tell you when it's over, you don't tell me when it's over. The, the tears, the tears began to roll down my face and I thought about it. I said, now God, I, 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 why didn't I hear from you during that time? You, 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 you bring me out here? He said, I had to prove you. Because I'm going to bring you into some places and I'm going to bring you around some people where I need to know that you would not be ashamed to call the name Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so I'm sitting there crying and he's ministering to me and I get up and he says, look out the window. I looked out of the window. There was a line around the corner trying to get in the place. 
in the cold, it was so amazing that only God could have done it. Yes, yes, yes. So from that point on, we have been sold out everywhere we've gone. It's been crowd after crowd. And, and I know, and I, now I see why the proving, I, now I see why God had to shut up heaven and just be quiet to make sure that, because I've had offers come to me. They pay you millions of dollars to do this, or millions of dollars to do a television show. I was sitting in a room, uh, y'all, uh, I, I, I remember, I remember being in a, in a major television network. I was sitting there with them, and they wanted me to do the sitcom. And I'm sitting around this table with a bunch of people that probably didn't know God and 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 don't look like me. Can I just be real? Yes. And they said, Well, we're gonna we're gonna write this show for you, and we're gonna write this, and we're gonna do this. And I thought, well, No, 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 no. I've got a specific way that I'm gonna do this. Mm -hmm. And. Uh, well, I want to say Jesus right here. And they told me, they clearly said to me, you cannot say Jesus on this network. Wow. Said it to me. I said, if my God is not invited, I ain't either. So I'm leaving. Uh, I, yeah, 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 yeah. Let me, but, but let, but let me, let me tell you, let me tell you about let me tell you about following God. When you put God, when you put him first and you trust him in everything, when you trust him through being homeless, when you trust him when everybody ain't, there's something about the power of praise. When you can say thank you for everything, yes. no matter what, I know it's Christmas time, no matter what situation you're in, no matter what you're going through, I've had to come through so much just to be able to sit in this seat and I thank God for it. A lot of people look at it. That's right. A lot of people criticize it, and yes. a lot of people want a part of it, but yes. they don't want to sit in the seat. That's right. The seat and, of suffering. Yes, yes, to yes. To get you to where yes, you are now. Yes, They yes. want to reign, but they don't want to suffer. That's the truth. That's the truth. And to, and to be here at this point now, looking at, I, I, I remember... When you're going through, I dare anybody, I don't care what you're going through, whatever it is, I dare you, whatever situation, no matter how sad or dark you think it is, for you just to say, you know what, God, I praise you. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand it. I don't know why it's happening, but I'm going to thank you anyway. Wow. And when all hell starts breaking loose in your life, that's the time to praise yes. God. Yes. Be yes. Be because you you have just walked into something amazing. You 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 have just that when the devil is really trying to get at you and stop you from what God has, that's the time to praise him. If you want to be close to him, praise him. That's right. I'm I'm gonna let you talk because I you, you, you let me let me tell you something. <laughs> yeah. And 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 for and for God and for and for, no go ahead and for go God ahead. and for God to put you in this situation, He said, I had to prove you, and then I'm going to bless you with so much, so many blessings, and and not just not just money. He, he's, he'll he'll do that, but He'll bless you with so much that when you stand, you can say, I know you're offering me this, but I don't need it. That's it. The cattle on a thousand hills belong to the Lord. That's right. That's right. That's right. So before I could leave there, Hollywood, I had my first movie deal. I said, no, I just been through this. Y'all want to tell me how to do it? And you want to tell me I can't use it? No, thank you. Phone rings again. It's like, we'll let you do whatever you want to do. Yeah. Tyler. Yeah. Yeah. You, the thing that I want to commend you about, the thing that I want to commend you about is that so many Christians feel like they have to sell out yeah. Yeah. in order to cross over. Yeah. And I can appreciate you for allowing the Lord to cross you over without selling out. Because, yeah. I, amen, I, I, I went to, um, I had the opportunity, the awesome opportunity. And I didn't know at the time it was going to be as awesome as it was. But I'm like a little auntie mama now. I'm, I'm, I'm raising my 13-year-old my, my niece. And um, hi, Kita. You know, she just. <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, Kita was like, Auntie, we don't never go nowhere. All we do is go to church. You, you, don't, you just do you do anything besides go to church? <laughs> and so I was like, okay. So when I, I heard that one of your plays was coming to town, I, you know, and they got the tickets, I said, all right. And I'm telling you, you don't know what a press it was for me to come off the road from preaching. And then, you yeah. know, and I'm not jealous of any mamas in here tonight yeah. and nationwide. Yeah when you have to come home from work and then change your clothes and then yeah. put your mind in the back and then you got to act like you're going to really enjoy it. Right. And so, you know, you, you, you all got us tickets and we came to see the play and meet the I have, meet the Browns. Meet the Browns. Yeah. I have yeah. never in my life been in a public place where I hit the floor three times laughing. 
Yeah, yeah. I mean, I was yeah. at one point. I think I turned around to you and said, "I'm gonna be sick. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna really yeah, be sick. Yeah, I'm, I'm really yeah. good. I have not laughed that hard, and I don't know when." And I was like, "This is amazing because you." The Bible said, "He that winneth souls is wise." Yeah. And something that you do that is so profound for this hour and for this era, we we have to realize that when the when the times begin to change, we have to begin to change with the times, not change our God. Yeah. No, no. But, but change, change our time. method. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The and, Bible God, says, and, and God will walk you into that. Yes, God, he will. God, when, I, when you know, people think about Medea, they look at the laughter and all the funny and the jokes and all the other stuff. But there's a line that runs all the way through it, which is God. And, and truth. And forgiveness and power and truth. the truth. The because truth. you've yeah. dealt with some delicate situations. Yeah. You've dealt with molestation. You've dealt with divorce. You've dealt with families breaking up. You know, you, you've dealt with mothers rejecting their children. You've dealt with divorce. Divorce. You've dealt with death. You've dealt with people marrying the wrong person. And in all of your plays that I've seen, you know, by DVD or, you know, however, you know, came, came to see it, all of what you're talking about, though it's comical, it is a refreshing way because a lot of people will never go to anybody's church. True. Yeah. But they will come to your play yeah, and hear true. truth. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, Everybody that's going to come to Jesus right. is not going to come to Jesus through a, through a tabernacle or a temple because God sets up a tabernacle in the wilderness. Yeah. And I believe that's what your plays but are. before anything can grow in the wilderness, somebody's got to plant the seed. That's right. Yeah. The yeah. Bible so, says some water, some yeah. planted, but right. God bring the increase. That's, that's it. So in the midst of all of what you've been doing, I need to ask you this. Where did the character of Madea come from? <laughs> Cause she is a straight mess. Madea, Madea <laughs> is my mother. My mother's gonna kill her mom. <laughs> she's, but she's she, she's a cross between my mother and my my aunt. I remember um, I got an aunt in Texas. I remember being in Texas with David and Tam. You plays Brown and and Cor. We were on stage, and my aunt she never. <laughs> She never buys tickets to the show. She just shows up. Look here, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm his aunt. Y'all got to let me in here. <laughs> so, so I didn't, I didn't know she was there. So she comes down. She comes down. Says, "Hey!" She starts rubbing across the back, the front of the pit like this, so that I can notice she's there uh -huh. during the show. Uh -huh. Yeah, she's, she's, she's pretty funny. Can, can, you know, they carry their pistols. They smoke. They don't care. But you know what I found? You know. You, and that's Medea. But you know what I found about about Christianity is uh, what I, what I found out about this is we are we are living as Christians. But when we walk into situations, we're not around a bunch of saved people. That's right. So so we have to be some sort of example for them. That's right. So I write from a, I don't write from a point of view of Medea. What I write from is the point of view of the situation. Right. And then what happens if if you got saved people and unsaved and you got all of these people coming together? What right. happens? So that's 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 the place that I write from, and that's where she comes from. Now now. Meet the bronze, and this is what I want to also commend you about. I guess you said I just got a whole lot of accommodations and all that, <laughs> whatever. But, <laughs> but I love you because you're not selfish. No. Because no, no. when you you were doing the Madea plays, yeah. And then I remember you telling me some time ago you wanted to take a break, mm. and then the Browns is Dave Manns and Tammy. Tamla Man, uh-huh. And you were a partaker of writing that and putting that together yeah. and really helping to, to, to push the Browns for a season. And, and I think that's awesome because sometimes, you know, when people do things like that, you know, if they ain't all that, then they don't want to help nobody else get yeah. anywhere. And yeah. I can appreciate no. No. you yeah. for... Come on, y'all. Yeah. Because yeah. it's really an extension of your talent. And it's, a, it, it's almost like... Um, uh, the, 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 the Browns is really an extended family, yeah. you know, of Madeas, and it can go on and on and on, and it's like, it's like awesome. Can you tell me how all of that came? I, I, I would hear, we would be on stage, and I would hear the applause every time Brown would come out. There'd be mm -hmm. all of this applause and all of this laughter, because, and I realized, it's like, people really love this guy, and he and his wife, if they had not been, he and Tamla, if they had not been the people that they are, because I've worked with a lot of people, I, I don't want to call again. I know that's okay. horrible to say, yes. but it's no, the it's truth. True. Because you, you know, you, you, I'm a giver from my heart. I've always have been, and I try to help people. And when you reach out to people, and and they, they throw it back at your, in you, right. at your face, you Bite know, it's something you. else. Yeah. Hard. But, but these, these two people, are, they've been married 16 years. They are a wonderful example of what a couple should be. Wow. I've worked with them for six years, and I've seen nothing but God in them. Oh my God. Yeah. So it could not. 
It could not have it could not have been done for better people. It could not have happened to better people. So I wanted to write something. I was going to go away and take a break and, and do, but then I thought it would be selfish because you know I've got my band and you know my, my Mike Frazier who's my musical director. You're going to hear his story. Yeah, we're going to meet him. Yeah. There, I have all of these people that have been working for me all of this time faithfully. Wow. So I didn't want to just leave them all out and say I'm going to do my thing. So, right. So I, I wrote this show and and he took it and ran with it. He, wow. He took it and ran with it so hard that <laughs> I, I, I I'm I'm a little worried about my new show. So I got to come up with something. You ain't got to be worried because I'm telling you, you, my dear, got it. <laughs> and 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 it is. I mean, she shall forever live on. Yeah. yeah. She shall forever live on. Now. I want I want to talk about too that and and, and I have to admit some, somebody give me forty dollars over there somebody got forty dollars bring me forty some bring me forty dollars because you know, I, I I walked into this establishment and I'm just gonna be honest and I, I didn't know it was bootleg tapes I, I really didn't I, I'm slow and and they were selling your tapes. I, I got to pay you. I got, I got, to, I got to pay you. I got to pay you. Oh, my God. I got to pay you. And, we going to sew this into TV. And my sister said to me, my sister said to me, you, you bought a bootleg? I said, I ain't bought no bootleg. That was it. She said, Nita, where you been? Yeah, yeah. You slow. But I tell you this, when I got the tape home, it was all cloudy. Yeah. I couldn't really hear the sound, and my sound was turned all the way up, and I didn't even finish watching it. I, I snatched it out the thing and said, you know what? I'm not going to do this to Tyler Perry. I'm not going to be no bootleg and hustling. I'm going to be honest and give this man his money for his tapes. Because I, I, I'm telling you, and, and, and I know that there's a lot of that going along because, because they even do it to my preaching yeah. tapes. And I, I mean, I walk isn't with the people and they be selling them hard. And I was like, do you know that's me? Yeah, isn't it amazing? I, I walk, I walk, I was in And they be like, get this tape. I said, that's me. That's me, yeah. I walked up that's I, you? in New York. In yeah, New with York. no makeup on you. Th that's, that's me. That's me with no makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I, was walking, I was walking down the street in New York and they had them all on, on the $5, $5, $5. And they had Meet the Browns down there. I didn't even release the video yet. This wow. is early November. I said, when's that one coming out? He said, uh, November 15th, it'll be out the day I was going to release. So it's, oh my it's God. a horrible, horrible problem. It's well, I just I, I just want to say, if, you, if, if you're interested, and you will be, before tonight is over with, you need to visit his website. You need to get the uh, Madea's Family Reunion. Come on, name it, because I've, I've, see, I've, I've seen them all. Diary, 15 of, a, Diary of a Mad Black Di Woman. And Diary of a Mad Black Woman is now a movie. That's February 25th. That's going to be in the theaters February 25th. Yeah. yeah and so yeah. you need to go. Yeah. We all need to go. Yeah. <laughs> See, Diary of a Mad and don't, Black Woman. And don't let, the, don't let the title fool you. It's, it's a universal story. It's a it, story is. It, it is a story about a woman whose husband leaves her after 20 years of marriage. She was saved. She is saved. Right. And didn't know what to do. Didn't know how to react or how to overcome it. So it's about her journey and trying to forgive this man to move on. But the twist is he goes out and gets in a car accident. And the new, his new wife brings him back to the old wife and says, I can't take care of him. Now, how much how much God do you have to have to take somebody in when that kind of situation happens? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, we are certainly, certainly very, very proud that not only, I mean, you started out with nothing, and now you 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 packing auditoriums all across this country, you know, with, with, with your plays, and then you've crossed over, and God has opened up a door for Madea to now go to the big screen. And, and I know you're doing all right, because I saw that big old phantom outside when I... Ain't that a car? That's the car. And I just, I just want to appreciate the fact that you are somebody that, that, that got it honest, that is blessing the nation, blessing people. And if you've never seen any of Madea's plays, you need to visit the website because I'm telling you, it is going to bless you. It is going to bless you. It's going to make you really, really laugh and forget about, forget about some of the stuff that you're going through. Now, I want you... Uh, Tyler, because I know this is like impromptu and, it, it, you know, we usually have a song here and all this. But I want you to tell us how you met uh, my, my next yes. guest, how you met Michael, because, I mean, he is amazing. He yeah. is absolutely. The, we were um, we were on tour and um, 
I, I, I would notice, like, when we get on the bus, he just sit in the bus, on the back of the bus and kind of stay to himself. And um, I'm, I'm not exactly sure how we met. I think my musical director bought him. He's now my musical director, but I think the musical director bought him into the band. Okay. And what happened was, he, I, I remember him sitting in the back of the bus one day, and I'll never forget this day because he had a, he had a shirt on with his family on it. Mm -hmm. And, I, and I, I, I don't know if it said in loving memory or not, but I asked him about it. Mm -hmm. And he told me the story. And my heart immediately went out to him because you never know. You never know what people are going through. You never, I mean, you, you look, but, but, but when you've got the spirit of God in you, it'll, it'll let you know that you need to say something or minister to somebody or be an encourager to them. And, um, and that's how, that's, that's how we met. And that's how that first conversation told me, you know, a lot of things that were going on with him. You know what? Um, we get ready to welcome, uh, Michael in a minute, but. I just really feel like if you if you know somebody right now that's going through a moment of bereavement and and they're in a position where they can't seem to give it to God because I'm not saying that you have to forget it because you'll never forget it. When my aunt and one of my cousins, I mean my it, my, I mean my family is, is probably watching and you know we can't even hardly talk about it. You know, we can't hardly even call my aunt's name without somebody just break down crying and that's been over 20 years wow. but she was shot and killed along with her son we had a double funeral and my family has never gotten over it mm. and so you never get over it and we're not coming tonight saying to you that that you'll get over it what we're saying to you is that you need to take on the strength of the Lord to come through it and that amen somebody you need to understand that you're not alone and the Lord hasn't forsaken you and that you have to always remember this. If you don't remember anything else before this program is over, there's always somebody else that's much worse off than you. That's the truth. That's you the have truth. to choose to bless the Lord through it. Because some things that you go through, only praise is going to help you to digest yeah, yeah. it. Mm. Praise is going to be the thing that's going to help you to get through it. And you've got to learn how to magnify the Lord. So without any further uh, delays. I'd like for TBN to help me welcome this awesome man of God. Not a bishop, no big titles, but I promise you he's a young man that have found the Lord and know the Lord. Please help me to welcome to TBN Brother Michael Frazier in his story, Surviving the Storm. Okay, I don't, I don't even know where to start, but I'll, I'll start with this. Um, when I went to see the Browns, and uh, Tyler introduced me to you, Michael, um, I was standing in the hallway, and, and so much was going on behind the scenes. You know, we were taking pictures, and people were laughing and talking, and when, when somebody whispered in my ear, and Tyler said, have you met him? And I said, no, he introduced me to And he leaned over and said, this young man lost his whole family at one time and i was i was zoned because i was looking at a person that had the most kind and pleasant spirit about him i was looking at a person that was just blanketed with the spirit of peace and at that moment you were somebody that i needed to know and i felt like the tbn family needed to be introduced to you. you. So Michael, welcome, Thank welcome, you. welcome. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Why don't you begin, he is the music director for uh, Tyler Perry's plays. Why don't you begin by telling us the incident of your story? Uh, f first of all, I, I would just like to thank God for being here. Amen. Uh, I, I appreciate you. I, I thank God for giving me this opportunity. I know many people uh, don't get opportunities like this, so I uplift the name of God for that, and I don't take it for granted. Amen. Uh, May 5th, 1995, uh, me and my family, we were on our way to get something to eat uh, every weekend. We would, I was very close to uh, my mom and dad, and every weekend uh, we would go out to eat and uh, this particular weekend, uh, it was a Friday, 
and uh, we were on our way uh, to get something to eat and crossed the bridge. It was raining outside. And uh, we drove into a flooded bridge, didn't know it was at night, and the water stalled the car. And before we could get out, the car was flipped over into a creek and it drowned everybody in the car except for myself. No, my mom was in the car, my dad was in the car, my two-year-old daughter was in the car, my daughter's mother was in the car, and my nephew. And I came out without a scratch. And at the time, uh, I, I remember the, the, the car hitting the bottom of the creek. Uh, and I remember saying to myself, my life is over. Uh, and I said, but at least I'm with my mom. I'm, I'm with my dad. I'm, I'm going to die with my family. What a way to go. We all are go to, together. And some kind of way, I got out of the car. And I remember being rushed down the stream. It was, it was just, it, it was like Niagara Falls. It was, I, I had never seen anything like it. And some kind of way, I got out of the car and I was able to catch on to a tree. And I held on to that tree for about 45 minutes to an hour before rescue units could get to me. Jesus. And I remember when I got off the tree, I fell to my knees and all I could tell them was go find my family. I don't know where my mom, my, my two-year-old baby, go find her. And about 20 minutes later, they came back and they said, it's nothing we can do. The water is too high. We can't look for them right now. We have other calls to go on. And I told the people that was in the neighborhood, I said, take me home. And I got on the phone and I called family members. We went back out. Uh, and when, when we got there, they started finding bodies. And uh, everybody passed except for myself. But God is still God, no matter what. And I can, I can honestly say, I, from that day, I, I, up until this point, I haven't always said God was God. I didn't always want to hear about God. I knew God, but there was, I, I remember I walked myself into the emergency room that night with a pastor friend of mine, and I remember looking at him crying, holding his hand, and I said, what am I going to do? And he said, Mike, all I can tell you is God will be there for you. And at the time, that wasn't what I needed to hear. Yes. And I, I, I didn't understand. Thank you, Jesus. And months later, I thought about committing suicide. I couldn't sleep. I would take sleeping pills to sleep, and I was basically sleeping my life away. And a couple of years later, Bishop Jakes moved to Dallas, and I began playing at his church. And he preached a sermon called Forever the Victim. I don't think so. My God. And the last night of that message, he called me out and he prayed for me. And he told me, he said, God, your, your, your instrument, your, your gift was a setup to get you in the church. <laughs> and he said, you have something to live for. And after that, I started thinking, I said, you know, maybe I am here for a reason. And I said, you know, how can I help people? And I prayed and God said, I want you to go and tell my people, if I pull you out of your situation, my God. I can pull them out of anything. I can honestly say that I've, I've seen him in, in, in situations where people have, there was a lady in Texas who lost her. Atlanta, actually. In Atlanta. Uh -huh. She lost her family. and. Um, well, she was driving through Texas, though, at right, the time. Right, she was right. driving through Texas. She lost her family. And, I, and he was right there to counsel her through it, to help. You know, when, you, when you've gone through something like that, and you come out with a testimony, you, just to let somebody else know that yes. it, you can make it. Yes. Is, that is, that yeah. is God. Yes. That is God. God will use people to help other people get through. When, when, when you were dealing with that, what... What was that like? Because I want to I, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna go back to something. If you can try to explain, what was it like when you got to the point of realizing that everybody was gone 
at one time. It, I, I'm, I'm looking at you and I can only imagine in my mind that that can be compared to what Jesus felt like mm, mm, when his father had mm, to turn his back mm. on him. Where you feel completely forsaken. What, what, what was that like and how long did it take you to come out of that pit? Re remember this. And, and I'm a, I'll come back to this. But his strength is made perfect in our weakness. Now, little did I know that. I didn't know that at the time. Well, uh, when I, we, we buried, we, we funeralized my mom, dad, and uh, uh, a nephew on a Saturday. I woke up Sunday morning, which was Mother's Day, flew to Arkansas and funeralized my little girl and her mom. And so I'm, I'm walking in and at my mom's funeral and I'm, they land before me three uh, coffins and, and my mom and dad is, you know, sitting there, you know, lying there in front of me. And I'm, I, I think I was numb. I, I wasn't crying. I didn't know why I wasn't crying. But little did I know people, they was watching me. And you have to be careful because you never know when people are watching you. And after that, after the funeral, a young lady came to me and she said, she said, Mike, you don't know who I am. She said, but I came to your mom's name, wake and until they funeral. She said, my plans was to pay my respects to them and I was going to go home and I was going to kill myself. She said, but I watched you. My and God. she said, after that, I turned my life over to God and I'm still here. Thank and at, at the time of going through and, and, and losing everybody, I was, I was devastated. I was lonely. I was hurt. It, it, I was just, it was like I, it was like it was a twilight zone. I said, where, what, what is going on? I said, God, I know they say you won't put any more on, on me than I can bear, but what, what, what is going, you had, this had to be a mistake. How do somebody lose your mom, dad, and daughter? I lost my present family and my future family. Wow. And I didn't know what I was going to do. My family uh, that, that was living, my, some of my relatives, they, they came to me and said, couldn't you have saved somebody? And I said, wow. And, and, and I, some of them I don't even hear from. Turn some I on. do. Turn their back on. But, but it's okay. And, and, and I said, God, you know, some of my friends walked away. Wow. And, and that was a time that I, my phone stopped ringing. Now, during the time of the accident, everybody was around. But after... I buried my mom and dad. The phone calls stopped. The my visits God. stopped. And my I found God. myself at my home by myself. And I prayed and I said, God, I'm, I'm, I, I don't understand. And I said, what, what's going on? He said, to be elevated, you got to be separated. <laughs> I started smiling when he said that because I realized where God was about to take me. I can't take everybody with me. That's right. And I don't want to take everybody with me because right. when you get on a certain level, people start tripping. That's right. And I don't want fake people around me. My God. And so God let me know I'm removing these people because where I'm about to take you, you can't take them with you. They're not going to understand. And that was people, you know, used to come into my life and they would say, I just don't understand you. You ain't been through what I done been through, so you're not going to understand me. Wow. And so I, I began traveling with Tyler and, and uh, I remember that conversation that we had on the bus. Uh, he, he told me, he said, I'm, I'm going to try to keep you out on the road and, and keep you uh, going as much as possible. Yeah. And, and here I am now. I, I wrote a book. Uh, How did this? Yeah. yeah. And, 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 and I see that I see that you recently wrote this book so that so that tells me that the Lord had taken you to a certain level that you weren't trying to to really um, take advantage of your circumstance right right you know and, and, and use it as a time of manipulation just to sell something but for, for it to be you know years past and I believe that 
you probably, and I don't want to just sit here and act like I'm speaking for you, but until you've survived it, not just survived burying your parents, right. not just survived burying your daughter and your nephew and your fiance, but when you've survived it in your spirit and your spirit has come through it, then it becomes the power of a testimony. Exactly. That's, exactly. that's, exactly. Exactly. that's what I believe that's this exactly. is. That's it is. It is. It is. That's, that's what it. I believe it is. this is. It is. Yeah. When yeah. you when you begin to write this, did you ever have any moments where it was difficult to finish writing it or because I started reading it and you know I was just a blubbering mess and I and I was so tired that night I was like I, I just can't just keep crying like this. But in the midst of me shedding tears about it, yet I can just sense such the strength of the Lord through every page. And it is a tool that I would highly recommend anybody that's watching tonight that's ever lost anybody and ever felt like, I don't think I can survive the storm. Here's a person, and we were upstairs kind of chuckling about your title, and I said, this ain't no storm, this is a, a Hurula cane or something. <laughs> this, this right here, you know, I said, it's the wrong title, surviving the Hurula tornado cane. This, it, this, is, this, this is bigger than a storm, but, but the title doesn't even do it justice because see you, seeing you sit here tonight, says to me that Christ lives. It says to me that he was born. And anybody, anybody that tries to convince me that Christ was not born, I will call them a liar because now you have made Christ being born, you have authenticated the fact that Christianity is a reality and not a fantasy. Because there is no way that you can sit here with the peace of God on you and go through what you have been through. That's right and survive it and still wearing a smile and live to tell it. And, and let me tell you something. The smile that you see on my face is not fake. I, I'm, and, and one thing that I can tell people uh, about uh, uh, the story, I'm, I'm not bitter about what I went through. Wow. I, I, I thank God for going through. Wow. Uh, because it's a testimony and, 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 and I can stand here and tell you, I have a testimony, you know why? Because I've been tested. I was, that was a test, and it was a test of my faith. And, and, and now, when trials and tribulations come, I don't trip and say, watch my God. Watch him. And he, he might not come. He might not come when you want him. I used to hear my grandmother say, and, and, it's, and it's, it, I, I thank God for my grandparents and my mom and dad. They, I come from a Christian home. Wow. And so I used to hear my grandmother say, you know, son, he, will, he might not come when you want him, but he's right on time. Wow. I've lived that. Wow. I've lived that. And, and I thank God. And I take no credit wow. because I, Mike, my kill Mike. I wanted to take myself out. Wow. And that's why I named it Surviving the Storm, Finding Life After Death, because I had to allow my flesh to die. And I had to find God, and I and He brought me through this. Last, last quick point and last quick question, um, because I just I, I just picked up somebody in the spirit that's watching. I picked up that person that still haven't gotten over the guilt of feeling like maybe there was maybe there was something that I could have done carrying that guilt. Give that person some hope about that. God doesn't make any mistakes. It, it, God is God. Yeah. And he has everything under control. Yeah. No matter what you're going through. It's not your fault. That's it. It's, it's, it's not your fault. It happened. And it was so happens. It happened for a reason. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm here. I'm here. Like, like, like you said earlier, I'm, I'm not a bishop. I'm, I'm, I'm not a big name person. But because God heard your cry, he had you to come to New York to meet me. Right. And little did I know I would end up here. Yeah. That's right. yeah. And so I'm here to tell you, if God brought me through, I was feeling guilty. I thought it was something that I could have done. But God, do not make any mistakes. It's not your fault. 
and you have been left here for a reason. My God. And it's to minister to someone else that have gone through death. Yeah. And I have a website, Surviving the Storm, and, and go to just, my website. I was just getting ready to I was yeah. just getting ready to tell people, you need to get this book. If you're watching tonight, you need to go to his website. And what a website, www.survivingthestorm.com. Yeah. And you need to pick up this book. I have not been afforded the opportunity to listen to this CD, but anybody that's been through the kind of storm you've been through, I know that this was written under the anointing and you need to go to his website. I wrote and it just the second night. The after, second night. After, after my mom's accident, God gave me that song, Hold On. Wow. Yes. Wow. wow. Yes. If you watching tonight, that is the word of the Lord to you tonight, is to hold on. And Tam is coming in a few minutes. As a matter of fact, she can come right now <laughs> because I want you to know without a shadow of a doubt, you're looking at people tonight. Let me just say this as she come. You're looking at people tonight, myself, Tyler Perry, Mike Frazier, who we can be depressed to. Mm -hmm. yes. And we can think about all the things that we've been through and all the people that we've lost and all the people that have turned their backs on us. And we can choose this time and this season to murmur and complain. But the Bible said I would bless the Lord at all times. That's right. For his praises shall continually be in my mouth. I will make my boast in the Lord. I will offer up to him a sacrifice of praise. And what is a sacrifice of praise? My sacrifice of praise says this, in spite of what I'm going through, I'm going to keep on bringing my praise to the Lord. Yes. Because yes, when I praise yes, him, yes, when yes. I praise him in the midst of what I'm going through, what I am saying to the Lord is that I trust your decision. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, y'all. The Bible said, yeah. listen. <laughs> come on, He come knows on. the way that I take. Mm -hmm. And when he has tried me, mm -hmm. I shall come out pure gold. Yeah. I know that no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. It'll be formed, but it will not prosper. Yes, because I know that when the enemy comes in like a flood, yes. the spirit of the almighty God yes. will lift up a standard Thank against him. Right. I want you to know tonight, from all of us sitting here, to you that are sitting out there, everything is going to be all right yes yes it may not look like it right now but the darkest hour is just before day before tim comes to sing this song i want to remind you that the bible said when paul and silas was locked up in prison at midnight yes they did they, they begin to pray and sing yes. praises to god praises. because they knew yes. that the morning was coming yeah right so while you're sitting there I want you to shake yourself, but I want you to tell the devil tonight. I want you to tell him that what he tried didn't work, and that all things work together for the good to them that love the Lord, yeah. and to those that are called according to his word. Will you get the door? I'm getting in there, Miss Vanderhoek. Oh, hello here. Reverend hey. Henderson, how you doing? Willie Mae, good to see you. Oh, it's good to see you too. Come on in. How are you? Oh, I'm just fine. Are you sure about that? Because you know, it's been a while since I've seen you at church. Oh, well, you know, I've been real busy around here, and I don't get Sundays off no more, you know. Hmm. Well, we're just going to have to tell Lily and Sam about that. Oh, well, just go in and have a seat. Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, are they around? Oh, yes. Hold on just one second. Miss and Miss Vanderholt, you have a visitor? Oh, Reverend, how are you? Hi, Lily, how are you? So good to see you. Thank you. Merry Christmas. And to you. Hey, Sam. Merry Christmas. Hey, Reverend, how are God you? God bless you. Please have a seat. What brings you by this afternoon? Well, I got a call from TBN. They said they're doing a Christmas special, and they wanted to know if one of our members would host a dinner with some winners of a Christmas contest. It'll go all around the world. I immediately thought of the Vanderhurst family. Well, really, Reverend? I mean, but why us? I mean, I appreciate your humility. But uh, the fact is that you all have been the backbone of our church for several years now. So, what do you think? Well, honey. Really? Our family. Our little Christmas dinner broadcast all over the world. Yes, if you agree to it. 
Yes. I think it's wonderful. Great. So you accept? Absolutely. We're so excited we're going to be on television. <laughs> now tell us, who are the contest winners? They said it was a Mr. Brown. From what I understand, uh, he's already invited his family, and I gather that they're uh, underprivileged. <gasps> Interesting. I hope they're nice. Oh, I'm sure they are. I mean, the winner has to be a Christian, right? Oh, yes, of course. Uh, but they can invite anyone that they want to. I'm sure they'll be lovely people. Oh, I'm sure. Uh, yes, uh, it'll just show that no matter where we come from, what our background or social status is, that we can all come together and celebrate Christ's birth at Christmas. Listen, I just noticed the time. I've got to oh. run, but I'll be around to check on things. Oh, thank you so much thank for doing you. this. Appreciate you all. Love you all. God bless. Oh, yes. by the way, are your daughters going to get a chance to come home for the holidays? Yes, as a matter of fact, they should be here any moment. Wonderful. I look forward to seeing them. God bless and you. And thank you again, Reverend, for considering us. <laughs> thank you very much, Reverend. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, contest winners, I hope they aren't ghetto. Oh, now what's that supposed to mean? I just don't want to be embarrassed. Less fortunate, come on, Sam, we all know what that means. Honey, don't go jumping to any conclusions, okay? I, mean, I just don't want to be embarrassed, that's all. You just heard the Reverend, he said it would be nice to have them. And what, what if they're not? Exactly what it's going to look like with the church. Is that not nice people? Listen, maybe we should be trying to set examples so for them. One thing out of line. It's going to be all right, honey. Mm. Oh, Mrs. Vanderhurst, okay. would you like some coffee? Not now. And I, I need to talk to you about this dinner. Oh, okay. And Willie Mae. Yes. My bathroom wasn't clean this morning. And the dresses in my closet were not in proper order. I'm sorry, ma'am. Yes, you are. It's so hard to get good help around here these days. I'd better go and check on dinner because I'm sure she'll mess that up too. <laughs> Willie Mae, are you feeling all right? I'll be fine. I know what you're going to say, and I am sorry for the way that she treats you. You know your mother wouldn't stand for this. I know that. Before she died, she treated me real nice. And I'm not going to let her mistreat me. I've been working for this family for years, and I was never talked to like this. I am sorry, Willie Mae, but she has to learn. Yes, she does. Now, I'm not one to get in your business. I'm not one to get in your business, but she needs to watch who she's talking to. I know. She needs to watch. I may be the lowest person in this house, but I got a mansion in heaven, and I can talk to God. <laughs> Willie Mae, I, I'm going to talk to her. Okay. Thank you. All right. <clears throat> well, maybe I should talk to her now then. Yes. I can get a prayer through. I'll say a prayer in her. How all her hair be liable to come out of here? Don't mess with me. Help, help. I'm changing the Hey, Maria, I'm coming. I'll be right there. Oh, well, hello there. Well, hello. How you doing? Y'all must be our guest. God, look at you. Look, 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 Brown, they got a maid. They got a maid. How you doing? I'm doing cigarette out. Put the cigarette out. Put the cigarette out. Well, listen here, let me take your purse. Well, can... well, uh, no, baby, you can't take this purse. Mm -hmm. I got my piece up in here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you talking about your Bible. My Bible? No, the Bible say uh, peace be still, so I keeps me a piece of steel in my purse. <laughs> and can't... In case, in case anything jump off, I can, you know, break out the piece and everything get quiet. Rock a bye, baby. <laughs> hey, is this for me? Is this mine? Put, this no, put, 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 that, put that down, down Brown. Brown. That is not yours. Mr. I'm sorry. My name is Cora. Oh, baby, that's okay. And this is my mother and my father, Mr. Brown. Okay, how you doing? Yeah, we good. We good. We ain't married. This is my baby daddy. Oh, yeah. Something smell good up in here. 
Y'all cooking Christmas dinner? Yes, we cooking. I didn't little... know. I didn't know rich people know how to cook. Oh well, we I know guess, how to I eat. guess they don't. That's why they hired you, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, hey, what is everybody? They said we was gonna be on TV. Is we gonna be on TV? Oh yes. Well, Miss Vanderbilt, she had to go get her hair fixed, and her husband, he'll be here soon. Oh, ba- Vanderbilt. Her. Mm-hmm. Is they black? Well, yes. They said it was black. You know Vanderbilt's on in funeral home. See him on TV. Say, when you die, call me. Oh, That's yeah. his slogan. That's his slogan. <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what is that? Oh, this is their daughter, Trina. She's meditating right now. Oh, she on medication. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to get sedated sometime, yeah. too. Yeah. Well, this table looks lovely. It's oh, lovely. Did well, you do this? Yes, I did. Thank you so much. But you know, I'm still working on her. <laughs> Oh, well, that's, well, that's easy. I can help you with that. Oh, well, relax the inferior decoration. Oh, she can do all the I can hire her. She can do all the Let's go on over to hey. the kitchen. Is she okay? Hey, Anna Mae. Anna Mae. Hey. Hey. Move. <laughs> you got her, bro. Hey, Anna How you doing? I was just meditating. Oh, you say, she was, is that how you pray? Well, it's not prayer. Actually, I call it communicating with the gods. The gods? With a Z? God. Oh, no. It's only one God, and I praise to him every day. I don't know God. <laughs> what the devil? So you all must be the contest winner. Brown won the contest. He just asked me to come with him. He said he was going to a mansion, so I wanted to see it. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, I want to see one here on earth. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. ain't gonna make it to him. <laughs> In hell, you will lift up your eyes. <laughs> well, Hopefully I won't have to look at all them colors when I'm there. <laughs> well, it's really nice to meet you. Good to meet you, too. My name is Star Child. Can I have a back, please? What's, What's your name? Brenda My right name is there. Star Child. Star Child. Oh, okay. And who are these people? Oh, hello. <laughs> My name is Madeer, and that's Brown. He won the contest. Oh, you look lovely. Yes. Hello. yes. Is, is we going to be on TV? Yes. Oh, I can't wait. I'm Lily, and this is my youngest daughter. Oh, hi, I'm Cora. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's, that's my daughter. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, you know, star child. Star child, I mean, star child. Stop that, Brown. Stop that, Brown. <laughs> yes, indeed. So, this your house, huh? This is lovely. Mm-hmm. Yes. Really? Willie Mae, could you get me an ashtray, please? I need to smoke. Oh, no, 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 no. There's no smoking in the house. I'm sorry. Oh, I can't smoke well. I want to be in the house long. <laughs> You know, we, we, we came early. Yeah, 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 yeah. The camera's on due here for another hour or so. Yeah, yeah. We last to be on time. I'm on time. Well, yes. there's something yeah. to be said about being fashionably late. Yeah, you know, I know about fashion. Look at, look at this. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's why you're sitting there looking like a box of government cheese. <laughs> my dear. I like that shirt, though. That's the color of Jane's hair. That's pretty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah, wonderful yeah. to meet oh, you all. It's nice to meet thing. you, Mr. Brown. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, my name is Melanie. Hi. This is my oldest oh, daughter. Oh, nice to meet you. Hello, I don't shake people's hands. How you doing, honey? You look lovely. Thank people you. don't wash their hand these days. Well, would anybody like coffee? Yeah, I, I like mine black. I like decapitated coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Willie Mae, one coffee, please. Will, hold on, right hold, there, on. Ben hold on. She can't make no coffee? Why? Ain't y'all Christian? Y'all don't know that women ain't supposed to make no coffee? Magia. Oh. I... The Bible say Hebrews. <laughs> she don't need to be over there making no coffee. <laughs> make the coffee. Oh, I ain't making no coffee. <laughs> so, I understand that you're poor and unfortunate. Who she talking to? No, no, what my daughter means is that we thought this contest was for the less fortunate. Oh, she don't know. Brown entered this contest. She don't know me. I'm not poor. I, I get the check every month, okay? I am not poor, okay? I can go to the mailbox safely and get my check. I'm not poor. Brown might be poor. My I got just as much as you got. Oh, I doubt that. I don't do that. 
Hey, hey, hey. Don't do that. Don't do that. What you say? You doubt it. <laughs> you doubt it. You don't know me, honey. I, you, I would set it off up in here. You don't know, man. You better ask somebody. I turned TVN into TNT. You better ask somebody. <laughs> well, Miss Madea, can I get you some cake or something? Yeah, give me some cake, but I'm finna give it to Anna May. Anna May, you want the cake? Eat the cake. Anna May, Anna May, eat the cake. That's what you finna do. <laughs> my, my. Your mother is something else. I mean, your wife. I'm my sorry. My wife? The devil is alive. <laughs> No, no. You have to excuse my mother. She's a little high strung. Yes, well, I'm sorry. I was just under the impression that this contest was for Christians. Oh, well, Mr. Brown thought it'd be very nice for her to meet a nice Christian family. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah? She not saved, you know. Oh, I can tell. Oh. See, it's comments like that that keep her out of the church. I beg your pardon. Mom, just, just leave it alone. Let's not start this. What okay? do you mean? You need to beg God's pardon. It's people like you in the church with your nose all up in the air that run the center of the way. I'm sorry, but you don't know anything about me. No, I don't, but I know a spirit when I see it. Hey, you just got cut. <laughs> no, that's my daughter, my daughter, my daughter, bad. This, this is going to be a disaster. Well, let's just try to make the best of it, Mom. I'm so sorry that Jeffrey couldn't make it. I know he works down there at that county hospital. He's used to handling people like this. I want to talk about... It would have been so nice to see you two on television. Mom, we're getting a divorce. What? I found Jeffrey with another woman. We're, we're separated and we're getting a divorce. Oh, Melanie, don't overreact. What do you say? He's just being a man. And what's that supposed to mean? Sometimes we women have to hold our tongues in order to keep our lives This intact. is the Christian advice that you have for me? This is real life, Melanie, in low your voice and <laughs> always overreact. I'm dealing with this kind of pain and this is what you have to say and I am not overreacting. Lower your voice. I'm not lowering my voice. You never want to listen to the real problems that we're having. Jeffrey and I are divorcing, Mom. That's right. She never wants to deal with the real issues. As long as it looks good on the outside. Melanie, you're right for leaving him. Shut up, Blossom. But stop it, you two. <laughs> now, you listen. I know I'm not the best mother in the world, but I do my best. And you two are not going to ruin this Christmas dinner for me. For you? <laughs> you don't get it. Why is everything always about you? What do you mean? You know, we have needs, too. Just like Daddy has needs. Maybe if you weren't ignoring his needs, he wouldn't have had that affair two years ago. How dare you talk to me like that? Now, who would change the channel to BET? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, I know you two just hate me. I just know it. Mom, Mom, we don't hate you. We want you to be there for us for once and deal with our real life issues. Oh, I don't think it's the time. I have to run. <laughs> what is wrong with that woman? Honey, parents just parents. They just regular folk. When we stop wanting our parents to be perfect, we will be in a better situation. I'm telling you, she just all she's doing is what she know to do. You can't blame her for it, honey. I, I didn't mean to make her that upset. So you didn't okay. mean to get slapped either, did you? <laughs> yes, indeed. Are you okay? You want to get your home? You want something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get, get some food or something. Maybe you can give him some food or something to eat and make him feel better. Some ice for that eye. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Ooh, look at that. Sorry I'm late. Eminem? Yeah, uh, I'm Pastor Henderson. I'm sorry, who? I'm Pastor Henderson. Pastor Henderson? Yes. Oh, how you doing, Pastor? How you nice doing? Nice to meet you. I Good see you on the commercial. I see you on the commercial. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm late. Now, I'm coming to you. <laughs> Hi, I'm, I'm Sam. I'm going to be creature made when you get me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, this must be your lovely wife. No. Oh, you don't know what? Brown, sit down. They oh, know they better know. than that. Oh, the tree I would never marry a man without a neck. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Uh, Trina, excuse me, where, where's your mother? She there? just slapped and went upstairs. You might want to go see her to make sure everything all right. She's, up, she's upstairs. I think you should talk to her. She's really... Well, what happened this time? She'll tell you all okay. about it. Listen, uh, make yourselves at home. All right. Please. Make, us, make ourselves at home? Yes, Trina. please. Can I talk to you over here oh. for a minute? <laughs> your father was telling me that uh, you found a new religion. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I have. Why would you do that? Why not? 
I mean, what has Jesus done for me anyway? I mean, besides, my mother says she has Jesus. If Jesus makes somebody act like that, then I don't want it. Listen, your mother is not God. Now, I know that she may not have set the best example for you over the years, but you have to understand that she didn't die for you. Christ died for you. And it's his example that you need to pattern your life after. So many people are losing out on God because they're watching other people. The spotless lamb of God, he was perfect. Trust him. The flower. <laughs> <laughs> the starlight is spread. Yeah. I'm sorry. I should have. I'm just. I'm going through so much, and I'm only making it worse. I should have never said anything to my mother. Shouldn't have said that. No, you did the right thing. You can sometimes you got to talk to people, tell them what's on your mind. Don't sit there holding stuff in. You feel better after you say something. If they get upset, it's all right. At least it's all for you. That's right. But how can I expect to help her if I can't even fix my marriage? Yeah, yeah, what happened in your marriage? Your husband cheating, y'all going through a divorce. That's what happened. I'm going to tell you what to do. What, what, yes. I got a rep uh, recipe. Mm -hmm. For sweet potato pie. What is the pie going to do for my marriage? No, get you a good, good insurance policy. Make sure you're the beneficiary. Madea. Feed it to him every three hours, and then, then we'll talk. You'll be real happy to be by yourself. That is not the answer. I'll tell you what you need to do. Get you a piece of paper. On one side of the paper, you write down all the bad things he's done to you. Then on the other side, you write down all the good things he's done for you. Yes. Now, if the bad outweighs the good, there's no need of holding on. But if the good outweighs the bad, you forgive your husband. And you two need to go to God and ask God to fix that situation. But how can I go to God when I feel like this? Sweetheart, you know, sometimes we have to fight through. You have to press. Because we serve a God that can fix anything. I mean, no, I mean, sometimes you do feel like giving up. This is, this is, this is, everybody, this is my partner, um, Orlando, Florida. I mean, something like that. I'm sorry, but, yeah. Um, How you doing? Oh, well, they told us, this is what they told us. Now, I'm going to ask you. You tell me. Okay. This is what they told us. Okay. They said that y'all want to film the dinner and film us eating. Okay? Mm -hmm. Yes. That's what, they, that's what I came here for. That's what I signed on. Put the camera on me. I'm finna eat. Let's go. Let's pray. Okay. okay. Why don't um, we bless the dinner? Yes. Well, we, right. wanted, Let's to, bless the table. Let's we bless wanted to the table. ask a few questions after the prayer because we really need to um, know what you guys really feel about Christmas. And, okay. And, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, Nikki told me I only got 10 minutes, so I'll tell oh, you about uh, Christmas. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, Medea, why don't you pray? <laughs> yeah. let, let, let me pray because I pray in five languages. I pray. No, 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 no. No, let's let her pray. I pray. I pray. You pray. Uh, uh, God, now, um, thank you. Um, I pledge allegiance. My dear. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't pray much, do you? Yeah, I pray. I pray every time I get pulled over. I say, Lord, don't let them find that ticket. <laughs> I pray when I'm trying to write a check at the Super Walmart, too. I pray then. Uh, maybe I better pray. Good idea. Pray for uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you right now. We bless this food, nourish it to our bodies. Yes. We ask God that you would bless the gift called family. Yes. Thank you, God. We yes. give you honor and glory yes. on this Christmas day. Uh -huh. yes. Amen. 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 Yeah, let's eat. Let's eat. Yes. Amen. Are they eating? Ooh, Listen, so. before we eat, why don't we just say thanks? Yes. Just say thanks and quote a scripture. Sure. We love this. Okay. Well, I'm thankful for family. I'm thankful for having a family that is patient enough to teach me the real meaning of Christmas, which is Jesus Christ. For unto us, a son is born. Yeah. Oh, she's so proper. Well, I, am, I am thankful to God for, for forgiving me. And if he can forgive me, then I too should be able to forgive others. Yes. And on the third day, he rose. Well, I am thankful for the love that I feel around this table. Mm -hmm. And even though my wife and I have had some problems in the past, I'm thankful that our love was strong enough to get us through it. Yes. And Jesus wept. Yeah, he cried. He was crying. And I'm thankful. <laughs> thankful for the opportunity to repent and to forgive. I just want you two to know that I'm going to do the best that I can. To whom much is given, much is required. Yes. And I thank God for life. Yes. Well. He died that we might have life and that more abundant. Yes. yes. Just shows you that you never know what somebody never going through. That, ain't that the truth? Yeah. I didn't know what I was going to say. Amazing. So I wrote it. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Your turn, Brown. Say something. Well, <clears throat> For those of you who
you brought your Bibles, turn with me to the book of Paul. And God said, (laughs) say a scripture and sit down and eat. I'm just glad to be in the number. You always got to say something. What's your scripture? When I would do good, evil is always good. It's your turn. It's, I'm thankful to God that this dinner is almost over, so I can go and get to me a drink. My dear, that ain't no scripture. The Bible say drink ye all of it, no ass. Yeah, I know. Well, she's right. Matthew chapter 26 and verse 27. I think <laughs> Sister Bynum might be a little out of context. But it just goes to show us that no matter what we're going through in our families or in our lives, yeah. that it's always important to put Christ in the center of Christmas. Yes. What do you want to say, man? What do you want to say? Well, I just wanted to say I'm so glad to be here with this lovely family. I don't know them. I just came. (laughs) (laughs) And they seem to be such a wonderful family. And you ought to be blessed to be invited to. You weren't here a few minutes ago. You don't know what goes on behind closed doors. (laughs) Well, well, they seem to have pulled it all together. And they did it behind the veil. Behind the veil. Yeah, they behind the veil. Yeah. And you know what they did? No more sheets. They put them down. They took them down. That's, That's right. Exactly what they That's did. right. That's exactly what they did. Listen, we got a Christmas song we want to do. Okay, I'm going to start it. No. Go on, no. go on. Oh, come. Oh, yes. ye faithful. I mean, I was sitting here to interview Mr. Brown. Mr. Brown, um, you are a person that love to praise the Lord. Oh, yes. And you love to shout. I like to shout. And they mess with me, I be shouting right here. Yeah. I'm, hey! But watch out, it, Watch is it, out. You, you, it's you, in you, my blood. You feel that my daddy was a professional shouter. Go. And my mama shouted professional. Mm-hmm. But we're going to pause for a minute and let you get your praise you, on. You, a line of the yeah uh, the my browns dad, my daddy shouted with jesus my great 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 granddaddy shouted with the lord 
and Paul. Now, when before you got saved, you was you was you was a professional dancer. You said you taught who how to dance. That's my past. You don't want to tell my past. I used to <laughs> be a script. No, I mean not not that. I used to talk Michael Jackson, Prince. Show me. Show, show you how. To... Yeah, yeah. What what you taught Michael Jackson? <clears throat> That's the old you. That's the old you. What you like? Like this. Jesus in the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. Jesus on the main line. Tell him what you want. I'm tired. You tired? Yeah. Whew. <laughs> <laughs> All over television land, let me tell you something. Christmas is a time of joy. Yeah. It's a time for us to laugh and enjoy our families. Amen.